uh, the Bubble Wrap Project was a real informative experience for me. Uh, Chris Danielson said it, and I think Daniel Woods did the first ascent of it, but it, and it was kind of also early days of sort of, and maybe not even social media, but just like, uh, it, it became easier to make and distribute video content. And so I've, we got to see the bubble wrap project in a way that I think we only were used to seeing outdoor boulder problems portrayed. And it's sort of, and it's still mythical, you know? And it's still there, which is sick. Has it seen the second? I think Carlo did it. I don't know if Carlo did, I thought there was this other guy who's famous for this story where he drove to Bishop nonstop, split, split his, his tip, tip on oh, the swarm and turned and drove home. That's, That's Waco. Waco. And I think it was James. Did James do it? Yeah, yeah. James. I, what's his last name? Dungeon Master yeah. O'Connor. Okay, yeah. One of the strongest crimp climbers in the history of human beings <laughs> having fingers, probably. Um, <laughs> yeah, really it, mind-blowingly impressive. Anyway, mm -hmm. I think that like that was that was a formative experience that I, where I was like, oh, you can, it, and I don't I don't think that it was the first. How, how do you even say this? Like, it was something that inside that I was paying attention to like it was outside. And I think that, and I grew up climbing in a gym, right? But I think for even, even growing up climbing in the gym, for me, it was always about going outside. And, but I also love gym climbing and I think that that experience of just kind of watching that happen made me kind of realize that I actually cared about gym climbing too for its own sake and that that could also be cool in its own way that is kind of different and separate and like its own cohesive thing and it doesn't necessarily need rock climbing yeah. and so yeah, that, I just I thought that was cool, mm -hmm. and I think what we've seen with boards is like just an expansion in kind of the breadth and depth of that community building part of what indoor climbing can do, gym climbing when you can pair it with these things that have happened outside of climbing relative to kind of social media, communication, all that stuff where you can be in your garage, Josh, and I can be in mine, and we can kind of be climbing together. Where when it's just me in the shop on the beast, like it, it, it's a higher barrier to entry and it takes like a, a very specific type of motivation to be like, I'm gonna bring everything I need today to make this session work. Wow.